against Gutcap Red, they were able to defeat them quite easily. So we'll have to see if Temple Storm is just a little bit better at this composition. I wonder how Skillcat Red are going to start this, because I don't think they were expecting this composition. They could go after Alec and try and take him down before he can build to full insanity and access that Honor Talent Edge of Insanity, which reduces damage. And that seems to be what they want to do. They need to kill Alec basically in a 25-second window of time. If they can't get a kill on him between that window, it's very unlikely to take him down for an extended period of time. Alec trades out Dispersion, but the crowd control chain is still coming. They've crossed crowd control. Jamie can't tremor. Alec in a three-on-one. Crowd control, crowd control still chaining together. Alec hangs on. He's almost to that edge of insanity. He's almost there, but he's not quite. He has to use the void shift to Jamie. Quite a close call for Alec, burning through a huge defensive arsenal. Now they switch to Jamie. Skillcap Red have huge momentum. I feel like Botar made a huge mistake there, not using his Iron Bark earlier, forcing out Alex not only his Dispersion earlier on, but also the Void Shift. So maybe playing that a little bit greedy there. Unfortunate for Tempo Storm. You can see actually Alec, he's going to be playing Pandaren as well, sort of taking oh. move from WizK. They're going after Zuniaki. Tempo Storm trying to get aggressive with this triple healer composition. And Zuniaki might be getting caught off guard. He's trying to get back to the pillar in line of sight. Alec, good positioning awareness by Zuniaki. They're kind of just going all in and aggressive, but at a certain point, their steam ran out. So Zuniaki makes that assessment. I no longer need to be out in the open attacking Botar or attacking Jamie, so I'll just retreat line of sight Alec and survive. Good awareness on Zuniaki's part. Now he can extend for a later kill. They didn't get the window, that 25 second window, so now it's unlikely, even though we saw a lot of pressure on Alec, it's unlikely that we see them return to him as the primary target. Instead, the best strategy for them is to go after Botar and Jamie, bouncing between the two, trying to catch one of them off guard. Zuniaki currently crowd control. Cassidy is the primary target for Jamie. Basically, if you can want to tell if Tempo Storm is winning, look where Jamie is, look who he's attacking, and look at their health. Cassidy is just hovering at 50%. Jamie's just bouncing between the two of them. Jamie's pressure is absolutely insane right now. Cassidy is struggling to recover. Yeah, Alex has been doing a good job with the CC onto Zuniaki, really limiting the amount of heals he's been able to put out. Zuniaki now runs over to Botar, looking for a fear, manages to find it. A lot of pressure on Jamie. Jamie could be in some trouble here, might have to trade out the Astral Shift if he gets out of the stun. Gonna hold on for now as Cassidy's not there just yet. Still holding on to it, playing it a little greedy, but the Iron Bark will be able to save that huge defensive for Jamie. A bit of an overlap with Vampiric Embrace on Alec. They actually switched to Botar. They're trying to force even more cooldown overlap. Skill capped Red really ping-ponging to multiple targets. Best strategy against the Restoration Druid. Skill capped Red have come to win. We see Botar falling behind. Has to trade out Barkskin now as well. The one thing that Zuniaki's doing phenomenally over anything else is that his mana is in a great position. Adam Rex getting bursted. Trades out that aspect of the turtle. Again, you always got to keep your eyes on Jamie. Just any moment, he's going to just tear in with tons of damage. He's playing that Earthen Spike, and I think that's the most powerful talent for enhancement. Look at this consistent pressure on Cassidy now on the swap. I really think dropping the Ascendance when you're guaranteed to get uptime is a really nice trade. Look at this pressure. Cassidy's still on the back foot. Zuniaki's tapping into his reserves. He's running low on mana now just from the result of Jamie's pressure. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. The only thing that kept Cassidy alive was the Rapture cooldown from Zuniaki, allowing him to just spam out those Power Ward shields consistently. Now that that's gone, Cassidy and Adam Rex could be in some trouble. Another big swap onto Botar. Jamie in uh, crowd control. Very Perfect. nicely done by Skillcap Red. Botar getting lower. He doesn't have Bark skin. No Iron Bark, no nothing. He has to survive. Tree of Life gets oh. used in the meantime, though. Adam Rex getting lower. Zuniaki grips him to save his life. Looking for the Shadow Mans. Finds it, trying to barely hold on. Adam Look at this. Rex kiting away quite beautifully, but the crowd control is still on Zuniaki, and eventually Adam Rex will fall. Adam Rex falls and Tempo Storm go one up. Oh, so far though, Tempo Storm one up. I think Discipline Priest is a good option into this team. There's not really an extended crowd control chain that uh, Cassidy can't break up. He can remove hexes, he can tremor fears, and it's basically a five second crowd control chain that Tempo Storm have. And then Zuniaki is free to do as he pleases. He can just spam out smites and do maximum damage. This is that crowd control window right now. Zuniaki stuns silenced five seconds. Maybe five seconds is more than enough. Cassidy dips low, Mystic dips low. Zuniaki now survives. So the crowd control is over. As soon as Zuniaki restabilizes his team, he can start getting aggressive and pumping out damage. And he could actually win on mana, I think, if they even want to play for a long game. Alec is marching towards Zuniaki for that psychic scream, catching Cassidy. No Tremor Totem available. I guess Cassidy tried to preemptively activate it earlier on. That is going to put Zuniaki in a longer crowd control chain than would normally be expected. Cassidy is now feeling the brunt of that at the back of this crowd control chain. Zuniaki recovers. Looks like he's trying to chase Botar, and 
I don't really like him chasing Botar. I think he should just bunker down and start spamming out smites and really just try and win with raw pressure. Him chasing the Druid, it gives the Druid the advantage. And anytime Cassie and Mystic are grouped up, Jamie's doing a lot of pressure. Silence now on Zuniaki. Cassidy getting lower. Astral Shit's been used. Disarm now over on Zuniaki as well. Is there any follow-up CC? Zuniaki trying to get away. Botar moving in, wants to land a bash. Potential Cyclone. Cassidy is in so much trouble. There's the bash on Zuniaki. Cassidy still throwing off some off heals onto himself. A nice power word barrier by Zuniaki. Mitigates some of that damage. Botar gets swapped. Due forces forces out the bar skin on him. But Alec and Jamie feeling very comfortable in this situation. I really think Zuniaki might be overthinking this. I really just want to see him sit in one place, spam smite, and do a lot of damage. Right now, he's trying to... Now it looks like he's bunkering down a little bit more. Botar is the one that can be the playmaker for his team. He brings Cyclone, and that five-second chain gets another five seconds added onto it, where Zuniaki can't heal if he can get Cyclones. And he tried to do that earlier, and Mystic really punished him for it by switching with Storm Bolts, and now Botar might be a bit scared to try and do it again because they're really just trying to gun him down. What was that hit? Huge damage. Botar survives. Clutch play by Alec. Zuniaki going in the back line. I thought he was actually sitting down for a drink there, but unfortunately not finding the time to regen some of that mana. Botar moving into midfield. Alec charging in, lands a fear on Zuniaki. Gets Tremor Totem into a silence. Cassidy getting low. No astral shift. There's a bash on Zuniaki. He doesn't really have anything to get out of it. There's the disarm on Cassidy. They're trying to make a swap of Botar with counter pressure, but Cassidy might just go down right here, right now. Zuniaki doing everything he can with his Rapture, spamming out the power word shields, and Cassidy barely holds on. Jamie wants this, man. He's doing so much damage, but now Botar once again on the back foot. Skill cap red are still in it. Nice totem snipe by Cassidy. Botar is going to fall. These swaps to Botar were well timed by skill capped red. I thought they were going to play for like a slow sustain game, but instead looked for swaps and burst damage. And I guess they caught Botar off guard. Be empowering Adam Rex and Cassidy's damage. So if he can pick a proper moment, they might be able to push through some of the defensives that Tempo Storm has available. I really want to see Tempo Storm just do a huge or a huge swap to Zuniaki at some point. Jamie had massive pressure at the start of this game. They're actually going to open up Botar. So this is the 30-second window at the start of the game. Skill cap Red have options. They can either all in the Druid or all in the Priest. This game, it looks like they're trying to all in the Druid. So far, not finding too many cooldowns. Botar trades Iron Bark. He's got efflorescence down that green circle. He's basically maximized his healing. This is why you can't only attack one target against a Restoration Druid. You'll just have so many heal over time effects. It's easy to predict damage. They ultimately do manage to scare Botar enough to Trinket. That is going to put him behind. Now Cassidy dips low as Jamie is implementing a lot of counter pressure. Diamond Ice Trap by Adam Rex is a nice adaptation that can't be dispelled so they can guarantee remove support from the team. It may be a case where they're just going to run at Botar start to finish. I don't know if it's going to work, but the amount of damage Jamie's been able to put out in this match so far, Alec really just focusing on crowd controlling Zuniaki, mind controlling him, fearing him, silencing him. And if he's in all that crowd control, unfortunately, Adam Rex and Cassie will rot down. Zuniaki does catch up. Botar now into a full stun, uses Barskin and Iron Bark, Tree of Life as well, and the Life Grip from Alec. So Temple Storm really committing a lot. Diamond Ice Trap now over onto Botar as Cassidy is in trouble. Yeah, Cassidy's been under fire throughout all of this assault. Botar is easily the most vulnerable target in this match. We can see he doesn't have Gladiator's Medallion. He doesn't have Iron Bark. He doesn't have Barks. He really doesn't have anything. He needs to be extraordinarily careful here. Alec also needs to back him up. He gets stunned out of bear form. They Psychic Scream Alec. He opts to Trinket to support. It's up to Alec if Botar dips low to save him. It's not enough damage. Now Zuniaki on the back foot. Adam Rex forced to trade Aspect of the Turtle. Slowly but surely, as Tempo Storm tarts start to stabilize, their advantage is going to become apparent. Yeah, look at these mind controls from Alec over and over. Cassidy getting low. Zuniaki just hasn't been able to heal. Has to throw out the pain suppression to keep Cassidy alive. Now a bash onto Jamie. Good crowd control from Cassidy. They have to slow down Temple Storm just a little bit, but with Alec just free casting in this matchup, I really don't know how Zuniaki can uh, sustain for long enough. Void shift. Botar is... He's just trading the cooldowns, I guess. They, maybe they feel they're going to win, but he gets caught out of bear form. This is a bit of a choke by Botar. Alec is still at low health. Botar needs to at least keep a little bit of an eye out on him. They may switch to him. Botar has just been burning cooldowns so quickly in this matchup. Skillcap Red have a huge amount of momentum. 60 seconds, that incarnation for Cassidy could be an enrage timer for Tempo Storm if they don't find a kill before it because Botar has just been hovering at 40% health despite them not even having a lot of cooldowns. He's really uh -oh. having a hard time. He trinkets out, barely stays alive. 
Alec with good support, but the pressure is just so high. Skill cap red, it's smork to the finish. Run at the healer until he dies, all or nothing. Yeah, Dark Archangel available in five seconds. That's going to be a huge amount of burst for skill cap red. Botar uses the iron bark preemptively. So this is such a good window for skill cap red if they want to close out this game. Cassidy taking a little bit of damage as well. Suniaki has to make sure that his team doesn't fall behind. They need to you continue get caught this again. assault. There's the bash on Botar. Huge amounts of damage from Cassidy, but it gets a huge heal from Jamie and Alec. Beautiful off heals coming in from Temple Storm. All right, Botar, you've burned the remainder of defensive cooldowns at this point of the match. You have nothing left to trade. It's going to be a huge amount of pressure going your way. The Temple Storm need a good crowd control chain. They're starting one right now on Zuniaki, but there's no damage off the back of it. Now Dark Archangel gets activated. Botar is going to be in huge trouble if they can connect. Mind controls from Alec. Save Botar. Tree of Life becomes available to trade with that incarnation that I was saying could be an enrage timer. But Botar's Restoration Druid can also talent into an incarnation of his own, which trades effectively one for one. Botar restabilizes. And this is kind of the robotic play that we like to highlight Botar for is that even though it looks like he's trading a lot of cooldowns, he calculates exactly what he needs. I was expecting him to go down in this point of the game, but still maybe good. he still will. He gets life gripped away. He's effectively rotating through the cooldowns, but even still, Skill Cat Red have huge damage. Botar is a legend. This pressure is insane. They need to stay in it just a bit longer. Zuniaki's almost tapped on mana. Yeah, Botar lands the bash on the Cassidy. That gives him a moment to breathe into another Maim Stun, though. Has the Iron Bark available, getting tossed out on. So it seems like Botar just always have a cooldown available. Cassidy interrupts them. Botar getting a little bit lower, but if he's in range of Alec and Jamie to assist with those off I think he's going to be scary. Zuniaki almost completely tapped that mind on control. Mana. Cassidy getting low. Beautiful mind control coming in from Alec, and ultimately Temple Storm will claim game number three. The series just seems to fall that third place seed in Europe going into BlizzCon. Tempo Storm looking to etch Zuniaki's name into a tombstone here on Rune's Lordaeron. This could be a fitting final resting place. Will they be able to crack the defense? It was a close call on Ashermane's fall. It was not confidence boosting to even say the least. Let's see if Mystic can set up some of those cheeky swaps. Jumping over to Botar. Botar saw him coming. He goes into bear form, makes him much more durable. Nice teamwork by Alec, bouncing Botar back to the pillar. Jamie's going to have a hard time connecting, or sorry, Cassie's going to have a hard time connecting. Peculiarly there, Botar actually jumped to Jamie right next to Cassie. I feel like that was a bit of a mistake on Botar's part. Maybe he just wanted to have fun bouncing around, but Cassie's now getting uptime as a result of that wild charge. He's now going to have to trade Tree of Life, and this could be danger time if they can stay on Botar. Yeah, a lot of pressure on a Botar. Alec had a nice CC chain on Zuniaki, the quaking palm into the silence, into the psychic horror. So it's the amount of shit out. Uh, that's the amount of crowd control the Shadow Priests have available, especially if they are playing that Pandaren race, which uh, Alec is. He's been doing a good job with it. Zuniaki stabilizing his team. He's been dispelling a lot of the VTs in this matchup. Wants to keep his team free of those damage over time effects that Alec has available. All right, Botar gets caught out of bear form. Nice crowd control by Skill Cap Red. They've got good momentum. Sunder connects. How are they going to deal with this? Cassidy or Alex spamming out mind controls on Cassidy, denying him from staying on target. Good teamwork by Alec. Botar survives. They're still just gunning him down. Now mind controls on Zuniaki to try and force him off target. Botar dashing to safety. Cassidy is actually playing Feral Lunge instead of the Nature's Guardian. So Cassidy is losing defense for more offense and mobility. Skill cap red in this series, due to the lack of diversity, it's all or nothing. They have to do all-in strategies. Outside of that, I don't see them taking Tempo Storm down. But now Cassidy is on the ropes. He doesn't have much to work with. He's getting mind controlled at low health. Alec is just having too much fun with mind control in this game, really. Uh, Stormball on Botar, but he was ready for it. He's in bear form. Nice. I don't even know if the life grip was really necessary there on Alec's part. It may have just been not really needed. Now he jumps to Jamie. Botar's just having fun, really, in this game, bouncing around to everybody. And skill cap red, the pressure's on them. Yeah, it's fun until Mystic and uh, Cassidy get some uptime on you. So Botar is really trying to limit that the most he can by kiting away. And now it's become very difficult for skill cap red. They aren't really finding much pressure. A little bit of damage onto Jamie, but this is the exact situation they want to be in. Temple Storm is feeling very comfortable with Jamie soaking up most of this damage. Zuniaki's running out of mana, only at 30%. Stun on Botar, but in bear form once again. Botar playing this game much better than we saw on game number two. He got sundered on his wild charge that held him in place. He's also playing Typhoon. Botar, this Druid specialization that he's running is built to kite two melee DPS. It's the perfect talent selection to deal with an all-in. 
if Botar was ready for this, I guess he knew it was their only option was to all in him. So running Typhoon, he loses his stun with Mighty Bash, but he can get a knockback effect, which is effective against a low mobility as such as Enhancement Shaman. The only thing that could cost him his life if he if he's just having too much fun and he's being too cheeky, overlapping those mobility cooldowns like Life Grip and Wild Charge could be a critical error on Botar's part. So really, overconfidence is the only thing I see that Tempo Storm can be Ooh. taken down with. Alec, speaking of overconfidence, he gets into, he uses a Void Eruption to get into Void Form, and now he's going to be losing that precious insanity. Cassidy and Mystic instantly realize it and start applying pressure on Alec. They might be able to force out the Dispersion or the Life Swap here. They can continue this damage, but it seems so far that Alec... He's not there yet. Not there yet. This could be the Dispersion. Doesn't want to be too greedy. They do force out the Dispersion. Alec, he has to be very careful making those kinds of decisions. Like I said, overconfidence, I think, is the only thing that could cost no. Tempo Storm the match. Alec is barely staying alive. Void shift to Jamie. That one aggressive move by Alec cost his entire team's defensive lineup. It's also going to make it difficult for Botar to predict who Skillcap Red are going to commit their burst to. With all three members, no Gladiator's Medallion for some time, they are all vulnerable targets. Fortunately, though, Zuniaki's out of mana, so as long as Tempo Storm stay in this, maybe another 30 seconds to a minute, Zuniaki's going to be tapped. They need to take Botar down if they want to stay alive in this tournament. If they can't do so, they will be going home. It will be a rematch between Tempo Storm and XRB. Botar really exploiting that mobility. I really love the Typhoon pickup by him. It seems like he is back in form despite not seeing a lot of Botar throughout the year. Him moving into BlizzCon is going to be a force to be reckoned with. They just cannot take down Botar. Botar still has the bark skin, still has the iron bark. Zuniaki now into the disarm. Do they have a fear? Anything followed up with that? Cassidy drops the tremor totem to allow Zuniaki to get a little bit more healing off. But like you said, Sid, Zuniaki, he's running out of time. Mana almost completely tapped. Cassidy into the cap stun. Do they have the damage to close it out? Nice powered barrier. We'll keep skill cap red alive. He's got mind bender. That's going to give Zuniaki mana. He's got another 10 second window of mana regeneration to stay in the fight. 10 seconds isn't really a lot of time to do anything unless Alec presses Void Form. He should just take it off his action bar. That's, it's the only way they can lose in this position is if Alec goes into Void Form. He can't make that same mistake again. They've got Zuniaki on the ropes. He's got nothing to work with. His team's dipping low. Jamie's doing tons of damage, and Botar is just untouchable, kiting perfectly on Runes of Lordaeron. He's in bear form for the stun. I think it's unlikely that they take him down. They go into Battle Stance. Mystic knows it's all or nothing. He needs to just get a kill. Zuniaki's got no steam left. Master Spell on Jamie's Psychic Scream. Alec utilizing the toolkit of the Shadow Priest to its full potential, but Zuniaki's just got nothing left. Jamie knows that he's tapped. He's going to switch targets, put pressure on Zuni, and at this point, I mean, Jamie's just going to solo Zuni. He can't, he's got nothing. Mystic's trying to back him up and support, but Jamie's just going to trinket the disarm, hammer in with some storm strikes. Nice Sunder to interrupt the mind control. Jamie's overextended that aggressive trinket. They're trying to punish it, but Botar in perfect position to deny it. Tempo Storm have skill cap red and a chokehold on match point. This crowd control chain will secure the kill. Tempo Storm advance for a rematch. Tempo Storm feed versus the fake Zebras. We're outside up one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth. 